You may be familiar with Singapore after watching Crazy Rich Asians, but most of you have probably never heard of one of the OGs of the Singaporean film industry, I Not Stupid. Written and directed by Jack Neo, one of Singapore's most prolific filmmakers, the film centres around the day-to-day -day lives of three primary school students and their families as they navigate the pressures of Singapore's society. Even though I'm living in Australia, I was first introduced to the movie in Chinese class during high school and it left an impression on me to this day. As many of the film's themes like bilingualism, tiger parenting and the pressure for kids to get good grades are very familiar to the Asian diaspora groups living in the West. 20 years since it was first released in 2002, I wanted to cover some of the various themes of the film from an Asian Australian perspective. Warning, some spoilers ahead. The first theme I wanted to talk about is often a hot button topic in Singapore, foreign talent and the superior Western expat. Because of its size and lack of natural resources, Singapore's economy is heavily reliant on attracting the best minds around the world, which has led to resentment from some locals, as many of the best jobs are taken by foreigners, sometimes without merit. This has led to an inferiority complex among some of the local population, where foreigners are looked up to be the best and brightest. This is highlighted in a scene from the film where an American foreigner is brought in as a director at an advertising agency. Despite him not knowing anything about the local culture, only being a junior level employee back in the States, and having to steal ideas to survive. However, one of his clients loves the fact that he is a white foreigner and even says, Ang Mo's idea is always very special. Even if I have to pay more, I don't mind. Personally, I can draw parallels from this scene to the bamboo ceiling in the West where many East Asian workers are overlooked for management roles because they simply don't fit the company culture or lack the leadership potential as decided by the management team, which is typically an all-white boys club. Although foreigners make up about 30% of Singapore's population, there now seems to be a concerted effort by the government to prioritise jobs for locals as COVID and political pressure ramps up. The second theme is on the struggles of bilingualism. As English is the language of instruction in Singapore schools, this has led to many young people unable or reluctant to learn their mother language properly. This is highlighted in the film here. I don't have to learn Chinese anymore. And here. But besides my Chinese name, I cannot even read or write a word in Chinese. I'm doing very well, even though I don't understand a word of Chinese. Again, this is very relatable to many Asians born outside their mother countries as they gradually lose their culture and language as they become more and more assimilated. You often hear stories of third culture kids resenting their mother tongue after getting dragged to Saturday language schools week after week, while their friends get to play sport and have fun. The third and final theme I wanted to cover is on the pressure for young children to perform academically. This theme is fairly obvious throughout the film, highlighted through the tiger parent stereotype, seen here. And here. How come I can smell smoke on you? I never smoke. My friends glued on me. <laughs> and you! How many times I told you not to go and be a gay boy? The film even touches upon the topic of suicide as one of the main protagonists is almost driven to take his life after a series of poor academic results, despite him being an amazing artist, a skill that is not recognised at his school or by his parents. I Not Stupid was a film way ahead of his time, touching on important societal concerns and highlighting that not everyone is cut out for a rigid school system. However, 20 years on, I wonder how much has actually changed in Singapore since the movie was released. Maybe something I'll cover in a future video or leave your comments below. If you haven't watched the film, I definitely recommend it.